Hey, welcome back AutoCAD students. And what we're going to cover today is the offset command. And what I've done here is I've actually opened up a brand new drawing. I picked the default ACAD template file. And uh, as you can tell, it gave it a name called Drawing 1. Um, I did a zoom all, and then I drew um, a line, a circle, and a rectangle with the rectangle command. So um, what I'm going to show you before I do the offset command is that actually uh, these lines are um, their own separate entity. You can see as I grip that line there, um, the circle. And then the rectangle was used putting in the rectangle command, so that's a polyline. Okay, And the offset command um, works well with polylines as it does with lines and circles. Okay, so the offset command, what does it do? It actually makes a copy of an entity, a single entity at a time, uh, a specific distance that you specify. Okay, so let's give it a try. So the offset command is up here on the ribbon under the modify panel. Um, it looks like a racetrack, so I'm going to click that. And the command line is telling us that it wants to know the offset distance. So, in other words, um, how far do you want this parallel copy, uh, so to speak? So, I'm going to put in 0.5 for a half inch and do an enter. And then it asks us to select the object that we want to offset. Now, we can only pick one object uh, to offset at a time. So, I'm going to pick the line, and then as soon as I pick the line, the uh, offset command wants to know a point on which side do I want to offset it to or what side do you want to copy it on. Now I can copy it on the right of this line or the left depending on where I pick my mouse. So I'm going to pick to the right and you can see what happened here is it offset the line a half inch. Now while I'm in this command it will keep asking me to select an object I'll select the line again and the side that I want to offset to. So I can kind of continue that process of object side. Um, I can also come over here to the circle as an object and outside to pick a side. I'll do that one more time. Um, and I can also come over to the rectangle as the object and pick outside as the side, or I can pick that same rectangle and offset it inside. Okay, so it will keep this half inch um, offset distance until I change it or restart the command. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to actually right click to exit the command. The command is over and the command line is blank. And I'm going to right click again to restart the offset command. And now I'm going to put in a different distance, okay? Um, I'm going to put in one. All right, so now again, we can pick an object. I'll pick the rectangle, and I can pick a side. Uh, if I pick the circle, I can pick a side, which is outside. And if I want, I can pick this line and pick next to it, and so on. Okay, so that is how you use the offset command. Um, basically, it offsets an entity to the distance that you specify. The important thing is, is that the offset command wants to know the distance first, not select objects first, like most commands. All right, I hope you get the chance to try that. And until the next tutorial, um, have fun and good luck playing around with offset.